What was it like uh, in the early 90s working for Herb Abrams in the UWF? Oh, God. His UWF. Yeah, I forgot all about that. <laughs> he had Bruno come out and do some announcing, didn't he? Yes, sir. Anyway, I think I worked for him three or four TVs uh, out in Los Angeles. So I had to fly out there and put up with all that nonsense. And uh, Herb, just a little tiny guy, a Jewish guy from New York City. And uh, he, I think he was a tailor. And he had a bunch of uh, stores that, uh, you know, the, the tailor made suits and all that stuff, you know. There's good money in it because he, he had made a lot of money. But then he got into the cocaine. And uh, Brian Blair uh, was working in wrestling for him and then working in some kind of capacity with him. And uh, uh, Brian says, you know, uh, every show that uh, we had, every TV production, uh, Herb Abrams, he would uh, run a limo and he'd load it up with girls and cocaine. <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I, Brian told me that about 15 years ago, you know, way after the fact. And I said, Brian, if I knew that, I probably would have hung out a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, oh, yeah. He said that Herb was a party animal. And uh, that's why he uh, lost the business. He didn't know anything about the wrestling business. And he was hiring people. And then he wouldn't listen to them. He thought he knew, knew it all. And he went right down uh, Right down the drain. So, with his uh, with his famous, uh, infamous, and uh, apparently covered in uh, cocaine and naked and in a hallway or something like that, something along those lines. I believe yeah. the story was. That, that's how he went out, right? Yeah. yeah, it's it's become a an urban legend now at this point in time. But yeah, that's um, why did you uh, only have a limited uh, run there? Well, that's after three shows, I couldn't take it anymore. Mm -hmm. I said, that's it. You know, it's stupid. Yeah. Or after three TVs, I don't think we ran any shows. Did he wind up running some shows? Yeah, he ran some uh, some very uh, big uh, venues for pay-per-views that, that didn't exactly uh, even break come close to breaking even. Yeah. Well, I, I, I saw that he, he, he was so out of control, didn't have a clue about the business, and I, I, I knew he wasn't going to last. So, you know, I said, hell with it, you know. I understand. You know, what, what year was I out there? I think it was about 1992-ish. Okay, I still had my gym. I had my gym from uh, 89 to 90, first of 98. 